Jasmine just texted me and she just said, I hate this. I feel like I am living a double life. We can't mess this up. Did someone bust you? My question is how people are gonna feel when they know you've lied. <laughs> You ready to do this? Yes. I look like an egg. I look like your egg's dad. Here's the deal. People are starting to do this challenge where they trick their Instagram followers into thinking they've traveled to an entirely different place. New York, oh. Tokyo. Uh, that's the only two I watch. That's the only two I watch too. <laughs> Together, Lindsay and I on Instagram have over half a million followers. So we're gonna try to see if we can trick them into thinking that we traveled to London! Why this is gonna be a challenge. We live in Los Angeles right now. The weather is different, the architecture is different, even the outlets are different. We're gonna have to be taking pictures, making sure we look oh my ready God. for 40 degree weather. And we have to post in the time zone. We're gonna go on this trip for like four days ish. It's yeah. gonna be a short work trip. In order for this to work, we're gonna need to post not only on our feeds, but on our stories. This is gonna be a lot. Do you think we can pull this off? I am very chill and I don't overthink things. Yes. You are the opposite of that. Uh huh. So hopefully us together <laughs> will even out to be fine. We can't mess this up. You can technically like, trick people into thinking anything, which is very rare for me and Lindsay because we don't even use like Facebook. Yeah. So we're gonna take some precautions, okay? Probably gonna have to tell my parents because- I'm not telling my parents. Really? Yeah. I think we can pull this off. I think it's gonna be tricky. I want people to believe us. They'll believe us. You think so? Yeah, they'll. I'm starting to get really confused because I'm trying to plan our trip, but the time zone thing's freaking me out. Jasmine's looking up flights. If we left at 4 p.m., we would get there Monday at 10.40 a.m. Post our pictures with our luggage yeah. Sunday at noon. We won't post our next photo. Till the afternoon until of Monday. Monday afternoon. And then we're gonna be so jet lagged that we won't have to post that much that day, right? Exactly. Becky! Yo! Hi, you're British. Sure I am. Yeah, do you have any like um, Instagram stories that are like London streets or, or landmarks? Yes, I definitely okay. have some stuff. And All right, my cool. sister will as well. She'll definitely have some stories. Do you think that we're gonna be able to pull this off? Oh my God, yeah. My question is how people are gonna feel when they know you've lied. <laughs> Guess we'll find out when we find out. <laughs> Good morning, kiddos. Ooh. We're gonna drive to the airport now. I was supposed to be here an hour ago, but <laughs> I was getting ready. I was like, you know what? We don't have a flight to catch. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's go to London, baby. Tell me something, girl. We each need a feed photo and then we need stories. Everyone's like really going somewhere. We're just pulling up to take a photo. We need to pick a terminal to go to. Well, we need to go to the international terminal. Is there only one international? Yes. Oh, okay. Amateurs. You're the one who just freaked out that a plane flew over us. <laughs> it was scary. I think we got our pictures. Now we're gonna sit in one of these chairs and act like we're like waiting for our plane to come. I have like a full face of makeup on, I would never. Oh, I always put on a full face. Wow, long flight ahead. Jasmine just texted me and she just said, I hate this. Like it's time, we have to do this. I just got mentioned in her story. Okay, let's see what happens. Lindsay, where are we going? No, where are we going? Where are we going? Your mom. Oh! Jazzy! I feel like I am living a double life. I made the caption kind of funny, so I'm hoping that like distracts people into believing me. To me, I'm like, this is so fake, it looks so fake, but like to other people, it's like, I, why would I be posting this? I kind of feel like nervous too. I'm afraid I'm gonna get busted. Where are you going? <laughs> no, um, no, 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 don't laugh like that. Because I'm tricking all my Instagram followers into thinking that I went to London. <laughs> I was like, she's on a plane? She never doesn't text me before she leaves. <laughs> Someone just reposted Jazz's story. The caption reads, I cry, she's gonna be in London soon. Safe flight, I really wanna see her in Jazz. I'm sorry, we won't see you. We're not actually going. I already had one person text me that I made plans with today that was like, wait, are you traveling? Uh, it's begun. 
day two, the day that we're actually supposed to be in London, it's off to a rough start. We were supposed to go to a bar that has one of the phone booths outside of it, but it's raining. You'd think that's good news for London, right? Wrong! It's not raining in London right now. And now that we missed our morning, we gotta go to work. So I guess we're not posting a photo today. We're posting stories. And it also makes sense at least that we're not posting a photo today because like maybe we're jet lagged. I'd be jet lagged. This is so much more stressful than actually going on a trip. It's kind of crazy. Let's go to work. Let's see if anyone is confused by us going to work. Guess we're just gonna find out. What did you say oh, when I walked in? And I thought you were somewhere else. Yeah. I'll see that. You're a liar. I thought you were traveling right now. <laughs> you were convinced? I'm convinced. So when he messaged me, I was like, shouldn't you be asleep right now? How did you get into LA? You just we, just, we just parked and went in. <laughs> who was talking about how you guys were in London? <laughs> really? Who was talking about it? You know Janice and Lindsay are in London. What? She's mad about it. I will say I saw your Instagram story today. I had the train. That like really sold me. I was like, maybe they are there. <laughs> so it is 11.30 p.m. London time. Here we are in London. So we filmed all those weird in bed, like just hanging out videos. <laughs> The one thing we're really missing here, us pretending that we're in a hotel of some sort. Or an Airbnb. We decided to use Jasmine's roommate's room. <laughs> she doesn't know yet, but she'll be fine with it. So I put my onesie on. I think we should play like British, like TV in the background of whatever we're about to film. We should put on the British make off. Bakers must make their K-Mail, K-Food. I think the Britain. <laughs> Onesie. <laughs> I hate you. Okay, I'm gonna take a photo of me in Nancy's bathroom. And we have to go to the f***ing pub. Can't we stock image fish and chips and use those pictures? Yeah. Also, can we just order Panda Express? <laughs> <laughs> If we traveled yesterday, then it's 11.30 that we're, we're tired, like, so we're delirious on our story. Can I change my time on my phone to be London time so that I can add the, the, uh, the clock on it? So it, like, looks can like- Can you? I don't know, let's find out. You literally look like a f***ing rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna recognize this. I don't think so. I didn't even know this was here. So we posted our tea time photos today. It's so cute. We're gonna put Zip's tea. This one doesn't make me really nervous, to be honest. It's like a tea room, which yeah. they're all over London. Someone on Twitter tweeted us and said, I can't believe Lindsay and Jasmine are in my home country. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so close yet so far. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> the furthest. We are literally <laughs> so far. Do you think that Jazz and I have been doing a good job so far? This is so legit. Like, I would not question it. Because why would you? I, you know? I have an update. Did yeah. someone bust you? Someone sent me a message and said, Ooh, what tea room is this? I'm shook it looks exactly the same as Rose and Blanc in LA. Down to the tea set. And then she sends me a photo of the tea set. <laughs> You were like, busted. Literally, if someone knows the tea set? I don't think anyone's gonna recognize this. I don't think so. Either. If someone knows the tea set, we're gonna get busted at the art museum. No, we won't. Someone's gonna <laughs> notice a frame. Someone noticed a tea set, but she wasn't yeah. even, but she wasn't. She got busted. If I get busted, you get busted. We're in this nope, together. she left it in your DM, not mine. <laughs> I'm in London. Hopefully no one recognizes this restaurant. I'm looking to get just like close-ups of the food. Otherwise, we're gonna get busted. Dinner in London, let's do this. <laughs> Are people gonna notice these matches? All right, we're in sunny London. How you feeling so far, Lynn? You know, I think we're doing okay. Something we would do if we were in London is like go to just like unique 
artsy places. You know, you wanna learn things. Yeah, I'm here to talk about the time Lindsay almost drove into the opposite ramp. <laughs> we are alive! <laughs> Trying to get close-ups <laughs> so you can't tell where we are. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, I feel like there has to be one person who's like an art connoisseur that yeah. would know that we aren't in London. Today we posted our museum pictures. I think we've both just been a little bit nervous because we aren't being truthful and we're not good at that. <laughs> no one's really said anything about not thinking it anywhere else. Oh, well, someone didn't like my shoes. Well, good thing they're not your shoes and they're mine. If I saw my photo on someone else's feed and they said that they were in London at the museum, I'd be like, oh, makes sense. Tomorrow we're posting some touristy stuff, then flying home. So I guess we're gonna see if we can make it one more day. We're out here, not in London. Found a telephone booth after many days of searching. I yelped it up. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> fake it. And hopefully this man's staring at us through the door. This angle really does look like we're there. It does. I feel like I'm a vlogger in London right now. We're in a parking lot. Living the dream. Living the dream. <laughs> So I woke up early today to post a bunch of stories so that it would be not 4 p.m. their time for once. I'm gonna go back to bed now. Okay. So today was our last day posting. I've like crafted my pictures in a way where it's literally just my face and the background of the phone booth. So I think that made it a little easier to believe. Chloe pointed out that there was a succulent and succulents don't really grow in England. So I photoshopped it out. I think it uh, looks pretty convincing. It's the last day I posted the last photo. I wanted to get Swarm's reaction to see if, you know, She's a British expert. I'm definitely an expert in the, let me stop. <laughs> I like it because it's not like the typical like phone booth photo. You know, everyone's oh, yeah. like in it like, well, it wouldn't open, it was like fake. <laughs> oh. I was looking through my comments and honestly, everyone was like, oh my gosh, Jazz is in London, Jazz is in London. So everyone believed it. <laughs> well, I just got a direct message. Hi, I live in England, hope you like it. And I just think it's funny that people that live there think we're there. The internet is a crazy place. This is what I'm learning. We're back from our trip! <laughs> that was, yeah. Great time, good memories. Stressful. Stressful memories. <laughs> the only time we had a hiccup was the tea room. Yeah. No one was like DMing us being like, hey, you're like faking this trip. People were more like, oh my gosh, you're in London. Where can we all meet up? We all know that like social media can be fake when it comes to like body image yeah. and you know, like people face Filters. tuning. When it comes to like showing where you are, like. Yeah. Everything can be fake, guys. Yeah. We just faked a whole trip to London. <laughs> we promise the next time we're in London, we'll actually be there. We're not gonna fake this again. Lying, not for us. No. Nah. I don't eat breakfast unless it's like the afternoon breakfast. I get really nauseous in the morning usually. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> it's just been like this since I was a kid, okay? Swapping at diets for an entire week. You excited? No. <laughs> Lindsay eats like a toddler, which is barely and really picky. Well, you eat breakfast like <laughs> every day. Oh, breakfast every day. How weird. I eat three meals and a snack. I only usually eat like one meal and maybe a snack in the day because I eat so much in the middle of the day. You I do. have no portion control. If it's in front of me, I'm gonna finish. I don't know if this is gonna f me up with like past eating disorders. If I wake up and I wanna eat breakfast, I'm gonna eat breakfast. Yeah. Cause I feel like for a really long time I told myself like, no you can't. Well, I do eat breakfast sometimes. Lindsay sent me a list of the food that she eats. Started off with breakfast, usually none. Dinner, sometimes none. Snacks during work, 
Hardly ever. So and yours was like five times as long. Yeah, I gave you options. We do have very different diets, but <laughs> we do have things in common. Yeah, like we're both people. <laughs> I was gonna say we both <laughs> like Subway a lot, but. <laughs> Lindsay does go out to eat more than I do, but I did put like Panda Express on That's it. That's going to be the so... Ready, Jazzy Jazz? Yeah! This is Lindsay's at-home food for a week. Popcorn, cottage cheese, carrots and hummus, pineapple, Lay's, and rotisserie chicken. She eats cottage cheese with classic Lay's as her snack, which I would never do because to me cottage cheese was like a healthy alternative. When I was growing up and on like diets, I would eat just cottage cheese as my meal. This is my favorite item. Jasmine loves her popcorn and I know she doesn't go for the super buttery, but you know, I gotta tailor it to myself. I love butter. I'm not even done yet. This is insane. It is day one. And all I want to do is order Postmates because it's the weekend and I like to treat myself with breakfast in bed, but the first thing on the list is I have to drink a whole cup of water in the morning. This is probably for the best. I am dehydrated all the time. Thanks, Jazzy Jazz. Hope you have fun eating breakfast in bed. I'm gonna get up now and make that entire freaking thing that you wrote me to do. I am post-mating breakfast, which honestly, I don't like the sound of. Breakfast foods, I feel like you're supposed to eat when they're ready because eggs can get cold, waffles and pancakes can get soggy. It doesn't sound exciting, like having it brought to me, but Lindsay does. It, so I'm gonna try it. I was kind of annoyed to get up and make something, but it's really easy. This is honestly what I'd get if I were just to like order something. I know, everyone in this video is gonna be like, Lindsay, you are so lazy, and you know what? You're right, I am. And I'm gonna practice something different this week, and I think I'm gonna like this. My food just got here, and you know what? It's all warm. Wow, maybe this is gonna be a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Here's the finished product. Mmm. Breakfast one down. Day two and I've already forgotten to drink my one glass of water in the morning. <laughs> Guess I'll just do that when I get to work. Jasmine eats Special K in a cup. Look what I got for breakfast. <laughs> it's such a you thing. Enjoy it. For this cup. Yeah. How are you liking your coffee? We had a meeting and you weren't there and there were cupcakes so I got you the cupcake I would eat. <laughs> I don't want a cupcake. I had breakfast, which I don't usually have, and then I couldn't eat as much for lunch because I was full. We switched diets for me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I essentially starve, and Lindsay eats four meals. <laughs> Her diet is Chipotle, ramen, and coffee. And oh, Chipotle, she goes to Chipotle a lot. She literally <laughs> it has on the list dinner sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's like up working. We're just doing everything else. No, she she can't work. She's watching One Tree Hill and not eating. <laughs> not hungry enough. We got popcorn for dinner. Watching Love Actually and feeling good. Eating dinner right now, and I am trying Lindsay's cottage cheese and Lay's chips. It's pretty good. I doubled the sausage and doubled the eggs because I am so hungry. Ooh, look at that steam. Ooh, am I a chef? It's just so interesting to see how you and your best friend like are similar but different. The food that Lindsay eats, I feel like I look at that food and I gain five pounds automatically. The fact that Lindsay doesn't like start her meals until 11 to one, I could never do that. And she was talking today about how she ate breakfast and she's like got more hungry. Just because you look a certain way doesn't mean you're doing things the right way. Or just because you look a a certain way it doesn't mean you're doing things the wrong way bodies are just different i forgot to drink water again Ooh. jasmine is already mad that i didn't eat breakfast this morning i didn't have a chance and now it's lunchtime so we're gonna go to subway <laughs> it's warm. and we're gonna order what we each would get okay and then we're gonna switch it okay you cannot get mayonnaise though i cannot do mayonnaise, no mayonnaise. not at all no not even light no look at my highlight Look at mine. <laughs> I've only gotten what I get now my entire life at Subway. Okay, well, you're getting a wrap now. Oh, I want to eat it so bad. Yeah? This is meaty. 
Mm-hmm. Mine's better, but like, I don't think so. This is a lot of bread. Jasmine texted me this morning with just the words, drink water. So that helped me remember this morning. For breakfast, I am going to drink this juice that Jasmine always drinks. I'm actually excited about this because I love green juice. It is a food truck Thursday. Jasmine? Yeah? Can I get a food truck thing? I don't know. I'd probably order Jimmy John's. I don't want Jimmy. We already ate a sandwich this week. <laughs> I mean, it's a Texas barbecue truck. I'm from Texas. I like barbecue. Yeah, but this isn't your diet. But okay. Do you want to choose what I get? I would get the sausage and then the Frito pie. Damn it. Why would you want? I just fries. Nope. Frito pie, that's like a whole nother group. I just want to share some. Okay. <laughs> I decided to pay Lindsay some respect here, and I got Chipotle because I know it's her favorite. Though I'm gonna be eating it in front of her, so I kind of feel rude. This looks great. It looks so good. Yeah. I am gonna work from home. I'm actually really hungry. Good thing I have plenty of food to pick from. I have made myself lunch, and it looks like a kid's school lunch, but I'm very excited to eat this. Today has been a crazy busy day, and my day is not over. I'm about to go to a concert. I don't really have a lot of time to eat, so I'm really thankful that I have this rotisserie chicken here. In true Lindsay fashion, I am going out to brunch right now. So I messaged her and I was like, yo, what would you get for brunch? She said waffles, eggs and sausage, or eggs benedict. I've never had it before. I'm excited to try it. Woo! Oh yeah, baby. Panda Express. Last night of eating like jasmine finishing it off on a good note you could bury me in orange chicken when i die and i think that would be a really beautiful funeral it's the ultimate comfort food and i'm so here for it so how'd you feel it's hard it's a different routine water was the hardest i would wake up do my routine get in the car and then realize that i did not drink enough water <laughs> and that happened maybe three times out of the whole week did you learn anything? Are you gonna take anything away? I do think about drinking water more. You think about it? <laughs> <laughs> this video did make me think more about what I put in my body because when I'm hungry, I just order what I feel like making. But when you actually have to plan out your meals and cook them and stuff, like you actually have to put more thought into it. I think true. I was obviously naturally more healthy doing so. I will say though, with my whole portion control dilemma, I had so much food in my fridge, I just couldn't stop eating. In conclusion, uh, we're gonna just keep doing us. Diets do not define friendships. Through our differences <laughs> and through our dilemmas, we're still friends. Don't put me in Crocs. Do not put me in Crocs. <laughs>Here's the deal. We literally found out last night that our company was sending us to Las Vegas. 24 hours. 24 hours. Just, just casually. The challenge is that we have less than 24 hours to style each other in the ultimate going out look. We're literally going to Vegas. <laughs> We're literally going to, to go Vegas. shopping and go out. <laughs> what is our what life? The There's no going back. No. Challenge here is that we were only allowed to bring one bag. I have nothing. I just have this sweatshirt. It's kind of liberating. It is. We made it to Vegas. <laughs> Woo! And we are on our way to the mall, one of the many Vegas malls. Yes, but one of the best Vegas malls. We've already got a club promoter. We're gonna see some hot DJs. I'm not used to this night lifestyle, Me but either. we literally have nothing, and I mean nothing. Nothing. Nothing to wear tonight. Yep. So we have to find something. Yes, we literally we, have to wear we, we go out. We both need shoes. Yeah, if which you, like good luck finding shoes for me. What size are you? 12. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. And the club promoter specifically said, dress to impress. We're literally going out in like six hours and we have to have our outfits by then. Yeah. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. I hope we can find stuff.
Forever 21 is lit. This is like a f***ing club. It's a club because it's Vegas. <laughs> look at that chandelier. Oh, oh look who's here. Look who's my vacay at the same time, ladies. Hell yes. Get into your to hell. Woo! Let's do this. Shopping took so long. We walked in the Forever 21 and we were like, oh, sh Everything is beachwear. For some reason, everything here is so beachy. Like, it's not club. What would you like to wear? I want that edgy appeal to it. I don't want, like, just a bodycon dress. Right. I think we both don't want to look like we have a no. mini dress with, like, sequins yeah. and sparkles because no. every single girl has that. We both want to stand out. We don't want something like this. This is typical... Vegas, we want to go different. We want to be different. I went first to look for Jasmine's clothes. I struggled, man. Nothing in this plus size section at Forever is Jasmine style. And Jasmine has a lot of different things in her closet. This is not it. I picked a lot of different things. They weren't Vegas looking, but I was like, Jasmine with her hair and like with some heels and her bold lip color, it, it'll work. It was really difficult, but I ended up finding Jasmine a lot of stuff. Hopefully you like it. We got a lot of reds and blacks. We gotta see if they fit. Fashion show, go. Ooh, you oh, warriors. I would never wear this out. I would wear this if I had like a turtleneck on underneath it yeah. and made it 90s. But it's so cute. Oh, it's cute, but I'm not wearing it out. It's yeah. like not the style I'm going for. Yeah, it's not Vegas. Yeah. But your butt looks so good. Right, it's cute. Holy sh I'm gonna buy it. Got it, it. Yeah. Good, good, good. Not for a club. Maybe for like a picnic? A picnic. <laughs> I'd go to work in this. Not sure if that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> it was frustrating in the sense of like bringing me back to like yeah. trauma of people picking up clothes for me and wondering like, is it gonna fit? Is it gonna work out? These pants don't zip at the crotch. They would have been cute. They would have been cute. And then I have such like a complex weird style on top of it, but I think you did really good. Like a lot of the stuff you picked out ended up fitting. Ooh, I'm not like mad at it by any means. Wow. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. No. Can you dance in it? Can you dance in it? Yeah. I love that it's out. Yeah. I, you never show your back. Yeah. I don't like it as much. Yeah, I think I like I think yeah. I like the gray one the best. And I think it'll look better with black heels. Yeah. My black sunglasses, black yeah. lipstick. Yeah. Raise it. Raise it. I would love ideally to not wear a dress and maybe like a cool jumpsuit or pants. Oh, okay. But that is difficult to find. Yes, it is. Also like 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can lean into that. For Lindsay's outfit, I wanted to go into a very like sporty, but like that hot sporty that's in right now where you can wear it with heels. So I gave Lindsay a shitload of stuff. I am going to be trying to show a little of her body off. So I got some short sh it's like dressing up a Barbie. I love it. There is a vibe there is through a vibe. and through with there these. Is. There it's is. all red and black. Power colors. Power colors. I'm gonna be showing some skin today. You're gonna be showing some skin, honey. Yeah. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I don't know if I like it. No? It's just so many panty lines. It's like almost pretty yeah. I was gonna say, I wish it didn't have the ruffle. I, I wish it didn't either. I wish it was yeah. just straight across. Yeah. Okay. Man. Oh. It's right under my butt. My butt is right there. Okay, okay. This is a little big. Oh, okay. Also, this is longer, but I tucked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think it needs to be shorter. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. I like the top, though. Yeah. I just would want it with a different bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I like the vibe that it just doesn't fit right. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Oh. I think it goes all the way to my arm. Look at this. Damn. I know. I see what you're doing, Jasmine. I think it needs a different top or something. I think this is so cute and I love this. But not for clothes. Yeah, no, no, no. So I was like, I'll be right back. I found a black sports bra and some red options, but she came and showed me the black sports bra and it was the best. Perfect. We basically just went to Forever 21 for everything because we did not have time. No. We didn't have time to mess around. We were like, we gotta get all of our outfits in this one store. So cute. Oop, Jazz, do you like this I bag? I love that bag. It is such a 90s bag. I love it. You're welcome. Bye. Getting it shoes. We ended up finding an Aldo. They had a really cute pair of like glitter heels. Yeah. And I was like, it'll be a little bit of a pop. For Jasmine's shoes, we had to go to another mall, which was like 10, 15 minutes, minutes away, away. Yeah. just to go to the tour, the only tour. In. None of the shoes were Jasmine's style. Which the girl, bless her heart, she was so sweet bringing out all these size 12 shoes, but yeah. they were just not <laughs> what I wanted. No. She brought out actually a lot of different shoes that weren't in the store. And one of them, was great, 
but it had a bow. Got these shoes, but I don't like the bow. DIY baby. DIY baby. The shoes look great though. Yeah, they look great. And then uh, she has a lip color to match those. And then I want you to wear a red lip and I think maybe your sunglasses as an accessory, but not on. What if I lose them? Don't. All right. All right. Do it. Ah! and not worry about our shoes. from our night out. Blah. Those shoes. <laughs> those shoes. <laughs> and those shoes. And those shoes. My outfit felt pretty comfortable. Yeah. Vegas is its own vibe. Yeah, totally. And it was hard feeling like we fit in. Different places around the world, like dressing up to go clubbing, usually fits into one certain style. And when we go out, we actually dress really, really different. And like when we're in West Hollywood, we wear like tennis shoes and boots and we- Or you wear heels if you want to. Like yeah. there's no like, you should wear these shoes. It was for sure an experience. Yeah, I think it was so fun shopping for you and I learned a lot. I'm glad I really was excited to put you in an outfit that you would wear, <laughs> Jasmine like has the outfit I wore. Yes, but you looked so good in it. I loved it. When I sat down though, the slit on the side went all the way up good. to my waist. All the way, good. Let them see. <laughs> Vegas, you've been good to us. Vegas, always do. Always <laughs> be in Vegas. <laughs> We're gonna sleep now. We have a flight really early. Okay, bye. Bye. Could a haunted necklace affect your wife? Absolutely. What was that? I mean, no, I'm gonna cry. Bye. I am See seriously later. going bye. to cry. Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm really into fashion and spooky stuff. So I went on eBay and bought a haunted possessed necklace. For one whole week, I'm gonna wear this necklace and hopefully not die. <laughs> So here's the deal, I don't know if this is true. <laughs> I'm very skeptical. I don't know if this necklace is possessed, if it's just a necklace with a crazy backstory. So that's why we're gonna try it out. I have the necklace, I haven't even opened it yet, and I don't wanna do it alone. So I have my two best friends, Joyce and Jazz. <laughs> Woo! Wow, that was a lot of excitement. <laughs> yeah. There's some demons. Not um, the demons, just the hangout. How do you feel about haunted things? Don't like it, spooky demon stuff. But you believe? Of course I believe. There's a lot going on in this world and we're always in retrograde. We're in retrograde right, right now. now. When you will be wearing this necklace. Yes. Mm -hmm. If a demon's like, hey, yo, bitch, she's gonna be like, no, thank you. All right, but before we look at it, mm -hmm. let's read about it. Okay. They're so dumb. <laughs> I'm a middle-aged female who recently inherited 1,300 acres of land from my grandfather. It had been passed on to him from his father, and he couldn't bear to sell it even though he had no use for it because my great-grandmother was scared of the land. Mm. Okay. She had grown up hearing stories of witches or satanic cults using the land when she was a child. So a couple of weeks ago, three of my friends and I decided to go explore all the nature this land had to offer. It started out like any normal hiking trip, with a few strange sounds now and then, but not thinking too much into it, and we continued up the mountain. Is this her like profession, telling stories? Uh, she really needs to go on farmersonly.com. After around three hours into the hike, we came across an old- Who the f is hiking for three hours? You've never, I would sell the land! Especially when you know your great grandmother thinks the place has demons. Right. We came across an old wooded shack. We found a few bones, which we believed to be animals. However, there were a few things that we brought back home. We found a few boxes. What? Wait, excuse me. So you see a dead body holding a box. You did not see a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is how 
get started. So this necklace is a piece of jewelry that she found in the shack. Okay. This necklace is very elaborate with countless crystal stones. It has proven extremely powerful, lashing out with lights that appear to be fire bursting in photos. While we were taking photos, both of our fully charged phone batteries were completely drained of energy. The necklace. Oh! No! 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 no. This. no. This. That was cute. No, see, no, I'm gonna cry. Bye. I am see seriously going Bye. to cry. <laughs> nope. That was falling off earlier. When God speaks, <laughs> I listen. When God says move, I move. And God said, get the f out. That I don't is. care that it was falling off before. It fell oh, right now. Yes. But I know, but it's been falling. That's what ground No, is. no, 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 no. See, 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 that's, see, see. No, no, no. See, when you ain't people make excuses. To the Lord. No? It didn't happen while y'all were setting up the lights. It happened right now. It's gravity. Now that we're back and the candle's back up, you ready to finish the story? I guess. Whew. The psychic warned to keep it away from all children because she considered it a harmful spiritual entity which may cause demonic possession. See, I would take this necklace, rose it off the Titanic, and just watch that sink. Oh my god, I can't do this. Y'all, 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 y'all. If anything else happens on this set, you cannot rationalize it. I'm gonna sing some gospel up in this motherfucker. Y'all think I'm playing. Let's okay. do it. The necklace is so alluring that once your eyes fixate on it, you can feel it pulling you in. Have you ever felt that way with a piece of jewelry? No. I wanna see it. I don't want to. Wow. Oh my gosh, you have to wear that every day? That's tragic. I feel like this looks very old Hollywood. It definitely has a style, it has a look, it has bad energy. Who would have worn this, you know? I don't know. I don't feel anything right now. I wouldn't say I feel positive. <laughs> Is that just because the candle fell though? Probably, but the candle fell because of this necklace. <laughs> like this could actually damage your life. Are you gonna like try to protect me at all? Like you guys are no. like concerned for me, but you're just saying that you're gonna leave. You have you're other friends. Say, yeah, you have other friends. Yeah. Will neither of you really touch it? No. no. How do you feel? Not very cute. Watch your moods, watch your dreams. You know, I don't want to tiptoe around my life. Like okay. this shouldn't affect my life. Okay. You're a very spiritual person, yes. I would say. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel any like vibes for me today? I mean, you're giving me lots of witchy Sabrina vibes. You're wearing a necklace. It's like not your normal accessory. I know what this is and I want to sell. What if I told you it was haunted? Your necklace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing a haunted necklace. <laughs> what? Oh my God, can I touch it? I mean, do you want to touch it? Do you want to touch I it? I don't want to touch it. Don't touch it, Chloe. <laughs> You're touching it. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm a believer. I like totally oh. believe in ghosts and stuff like that. So I'm a skeptic. The only tragic thing about it is that it doesn't seem to go with your normal setting. I know. That's all. Like, you managed to dress it in such a cool way. Really? I mean, it does. Mm. I don't want it. <laughs> okay, do you want me to leave? No, yeah. <laughs> do you think this is a terrible idea? I'm a little worried. I'm losing friends. Yeah. But listen, Lindsay, you are a good person, an advocate for the people around you, and just friendly. I haven't seen your bad side. Maybe this is gonna bring that out. I'm nervous. I don't want you to get hurt. How you doing, Jazz? I'm fine. It is 11 p.m. ish. Still wearing the necklace, baby. I am. What was that? I haven't felt any different. I feel fine. Well, tonight I cried watching American Idol auditions. I don't think that's the demon. Or maybe it is the American Idol demon. I need to stop talking now. Tonight is the first night I'm sleeping with this on. I do dream a lot, but I also don't have too many nightmares. So I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm not at a point where like, I wanna believe it or I don't wanna believe it. Like I still believe that candle falling over was pure gravity. But if unusual things start happening on a daily basis, like I might have to believe it, you know? I mean? I'm gonna say a little prayer tonight and go to sleep. A good night from me and the demon necklace. Good morning. I'm awake. I'm alive. So I did dream last night, but I just dreamed that I was like doing someone's hair. Nothing demonic about that. All right, Lens. I'm here and you're haunted. You think I'm still haunted yet? Yeah. You couldn't find your lipstick this morning and look at you now. 
having to scramble. That's the spirits. We're doing a photo shoot with the demon. The lady on eBay said in photos, like it's really blurry and like it glows. And if, you know, the battery dies all of a sudden, kind of look out for stuff like that. But we went for like a witchy vibe today. I'm really linty. Iconic. <laughs> Demonic. The battery's already dying. Oh no. I don't see any stuff happening. Looks, yeah, looks that looks um, not like a ball of fire. John, do you think it's You're both Geminis, so. <laughs> How are y'all feeling? I think we're just like kind of evil to begin with, so it's like. <laughs> True. Duh, don't touch me. Just looking at the contact sheet and have not found any discrepancies so far. I don't know what she was taking pictures with. Our Instagrams didn't work yesterday because you are wearing that necklace. I did not. <laughs> According to that theory, you brought Instagram and Facebook down for the whole world. I did not cause the Instagram outage of 2K19. Yeah, yeah. Why? Whisper it. Since I touched your necklace, I'm now sick and I'm not kidding. <gasps> I'm literally going right now to buck with my cat purse to go and buy some drugs because I feel like crap. Do you think it was me? I think it was you. Or it was my dentist that breathed on me really hard. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so I, I don't know how to say this. I left work early. I don't know if this has anything to do with the necklace, but I just like had like a sudden like mood change and I just started feeling really overwhelmed. I don't know if it has anything to do with the necklace, honestly, but I just want to document it in case it did, so. I had to get ready for work really quickly today, so I just threw on a t-shirt. This doesn't really match, which I knew was gonna happen. So I'm just gonna wear it under. Hopefully nothing happens to these boys in real life. If so, I'm sorry. I have like really expensive taste in costume jewelry. Do you think this is costume jewelry? I collect like a lot of old jewelry. There's certain things that I look for, like the links. Do the links look old or do they look like something that's very modern that I can get in like Santee Alley downtown? Does it say something? Yeah, it, yeah, let's look it up. I think it's newer, yep. Yep. <gasps> Do you think I was scammed, Curly? Um, <laughs> people can put things into items, they can cast spells on things, people do it all the time. I mean, magic can exist in 2010 too, you know what I mean? Jesus, <laughs> bendiciones, bendiciones, bendiciones. Just don't go by Julie Uh-oh. And I was wearing a haunted necklace. Get away from me right now. Bye. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 yeah. bye. <laughs> it's a scam. Everything's a scam. Alexa, is my necklace haunted? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Me neither. That pretty much sums it up. This necklace emits a lot of negative energy, a lot of negativity can come to my life. All I know is that all my friends hate me and no one wants to be around me. That's cool. Thanks. It's the demon. And he wants to say, go to bed, Lindsay. Hopefully I get through tonight. If anything weird happens, I'll let you know. Okay, the battery is dying. Hopefully that's not the demon. I think I finally figured out how to style this necklace and not look very confused. Here's the dealio. Nothing out of the ordinary is happening. Like, at all. After talking to Curly, I'm kind of realizing Holy maybe the necklace isn't haunted, maybe it's just a scam. Which is also pretty scary if you ask me. Today, a psychic is going to read this necklace and tell me anything she feels finds. You're on trial, baby. See what we find. That's like my Shane Dawson like conspiracy theory voice. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. We're gonna see what we find. That's not how he talks. I'm gonna stop recording now. I love you Shane Dawson, bye. My name is Jennifer Schaefer. I am an intuitive. Everyone has intuition, but the biggest thing is that they have to lose their fear regarding it. You're very intuitive when it comes to your friends, when it comes to people. I think your friends actually get mad because you're always right. Objects, you know, antiques, you know, things that have a lot of history, like they kind of have this attachment to them. Yes. So if you put on something that was somebody else's, for instance, or uh -huh. you go to a thrift store and you get a jacket, if that person was going through, let's say, disease, you might feel sick wearing it. Today, we're going to be focusing in on an object. I love that. And I didn't want to tell you what the object was yet. I don't want to know. For artifacts, it's called psychometry. Okay. It's being able to touch an object and yeah. get the energy from it. Do you feel any energies here, vibes, good, bad? 
I do. Okay. Can I just see if I can pick it up? Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. I feel that that thing right there is a little bit interesting. Could it be the lamp? It's pretty interesting that a lot of these things in the set you find mm -hmm. odd. Because yes. I want to know more. But it's actually this necklace. Oh, it's on you. I saw something that dealt with either, you know, the Indian Reservation or something that dealt with a crime boss. Wow. Okay. Um, and I felt like there was a knife associated with this, Whoa. if that makes sense to you. Did this person kill people? Yeah. Whatever they did, they got away with it. Was it dealing with a certain tribe or a certain group of people? Yeah. I don't know, I saw something in Hawaii or Hawaiian. Oh, that's interesting. It almost feels like a fake. Mm -hmm. But if it's fake, I'm gonna find out still what the essence was, what the intention was. Yeah. Did they say that they were part of the family line of this person? That part is real. The person selling it goes to a lot of thrift stores, I feel like. Same. The person that's, that sold it to her told her the story, and I think she glamorized it. Mm -hmm. But was it for 100? Yeah. Yes. If it was real, it would have been way more. Wow. <laughs> T, could a haunted necklace affect your life? Absolutely. You would feel like a burning sensation almost. Really? Yeah. Wow. I know that you're very intuitive. If you've been wearing this and you're not feeling it, mm -hmm. yes or no, there's a reason yeah. why. But what it represents though, it represents somebody getting away with something. That's what it feels like. My money. That's what they got away with, my <laughs> money. It's now the end of the week. Yeah. Oh. Are you scared of me anymore? No. Will you touch it? No. You wanna touch it? No. If you guys are still <laughs> sus, we're gonna put it to the super test. Channeling it through a Ouija board. I always feel like there's one person lying. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's not gonna be me. It's not gonna be me, <laughs> I don't is. lie. You're a Gemini. <laughs> You're a Libra. <laughs> yeah, Libras don't lie. Mm -mm. Okay, well, um, let's start. We're putting the necklace down right in front here. Okay. <sighs> okay, ask it a question. Be polite too. Necklace, are you haunted? When are we supposed to look at it? Are there any spirits in this room? Thank you. <laughs> Maybe if right. we put it on this? Mm -hmm. You just touched it. I did, and I realized that I'm probably going to hell. Joyce. <laughs> just not really serious. <laughs> is Lindsay ready for love? This is not that video. <laughs> oh, stop. I mean, I feel like all the evidence you've gotten over the past week shows that this is probably not I feel like I would have felt something. If anything, it felt more empty than normal. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. That candle was up. That candle really rocked me. <laughs> I feel like there are haunted jewelry out there. Yeah. I just think that this wasn't it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. gonna put it in props or are you gonna throw it away? Okay, yeah, what are we gonna do with this? You can't put it in props. You cannot put it in props. Uh, this is where the haunted starts. Yeah. Cause now the spirit's gonna be like, oh, that's empty. I'm gonna occupy that too. You can bury it. We could bury it. I think we can bury, bury it. it. Let's bury it. Will you uh, hang out with me now? Yeah. Um, after you put some Florida water on yourself. I don't know how where to get that. Amazon. I'm Chloe, and as you might be able to tell, I'm British, not Australian. As a lot of Brits do, I grew up wearing school uniform. I personally hated wearing it because I got so bored wearing the same thing every single day, and the uniforms were never, ever cute. <coughs> I was always so jealous watching American movies and TV shows, the kids never seemed to have to wear a uniform. Because many students around the world wear a uniform, but relatively few American students do, I decided to do an experiment. Luckily, three of my very stylish co-workers were down to help and they're probably gonna wanna kill me. So we're Style & Beauty producers on Boldly, so we all really take pride in what we wear every day. I personally have never worn school uniforms, and I was always so thankful that I didn't have to. Junior high and high school, you know how you have superlatives? Yeah. I was best dressed in all of my superlatives, and I feel like that wouldn't have been a category for you if you wore uniforms all the time. I did have friends that went to charter school, and there did come a time where I was like, I kind of wish I had uniforms. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. 
What? <laughs> We're gonna cry. This is probably worse than I thought it was going to be. I just had really big hopes. We look like we're in this Gryffindor. Is, we look like we're going to a primary school yeah. or something. Primary like, color school. <laughs> I'm gonna be a child. Wait, there's socks, look at these socks. Can we wear the sweater vest every day? I don't know how to tie a every tie. Every day? <laughs> this needs to be like. Yeah, that would be sexy. <laughs> this vest is supposed to go here which is like, where's my shape? This is a lot of clothing. Good morning, ladies. I can't. Well, I'm your headmistress for the week. Got some rules for you here. Do not remove your vests without permission. Do not undo your top button without permission. Oh. We already have a problem. Do not wear sunglasses indoors. Oh. Yes. That's a personal jab. Do not roll up your skirts. No earrings other than studs. You're lucky I don't make you take your facial jewelry out. <laughs> Minimal makeup is allowed, but no bright, bold colors. Both of you girls right now. Bright, bold? This is my nude. All right, off to class with you. Adjourned. Sissy, the rule follower, just hiked up her skirt already. We haven't even been out here for 10 minutes. Did you just walk out of Hogwarts? What's happening? Oh my god, ew! Chad, you're not supposed to wear sunglasses inside. Wow, Sissy's rule breaker already. Sissy's not supposed to hike up her skirt. You look like such a fucking click. Like, I'm getting like oh, yeah, PTSD so... from middle school. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna end up in someone's burn book. So I heard that Sissy has hiked her skirt up and also tied up the back of her sweatshirt. So you were the rule follower. My skirt's all rolled up. Let me see the ice in the regular lane. Stella, we're such a snitch. This is Lizzie's still wearing her lip and jazz. I do see that. Was wearing jazz? her glasses inside. She's also still oh, got black oh, lipstick me. on. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you all. Day one of school is done. Today was not bad. And I think we're all having a really fun time wearing these. School uniforms, man, they're really comfortable. It got hot a lot of times of the day but I was trying to like do my best to like stay in my outfit all day. And I did, but I really wanted to text Headmistress Chloe to ask her if I could take off this vest. So far it's been all right. I can already tell this is gonna be a week. This does not take a couple seconds to put on. It is layers on layers. You gotta do the tie. I think you guys look like a cute group. Um, I'm waiting for your single to drop. I wore a school uniform. You did? Yeah, but I definitely wore it like Jasmine, <laughs> where I just was like, I'm gonna find any crack in the rules to be able to do whatever I want. First time going out in the world with our uniforms on. It's really hot. It's really hot, but I'm not mad about this skirt. It's so easy breezy. You guys look cute. And I used to go to a uniform school and I hated it. But then now I was kind of look at them. I'm like, oh, they're kind of cute. So I just got out of my first meeting wearing this. Um, to be honest, felt kind of insecure just because I feel younger in this. I feel like you can't really be taken seriously when you're wearing something like this. Tomorrow, I'm gonna wear fishnets. I'm not wearing this. I'm wearing a lacy bra. I don't wanna be going here. You know what? This school isn't the right fit for me. Fuck it. <laughs> Who do I sit next to? Oh, so <laughs> done. I'm this is so like, done. you like break all the rules. And here I am being a great kid. kid. You look like the girl my mom told me to stay away from in high school. <laughs> so I'm breaking all the rules today. Hopefully Chloe doesn't notice. She's gonna notice. I put on every step of my clothing this morning. So did I. And I took the time to make sure I did. The so did I. The only reason I have my skirt skirt rolled up one is because it, it's it's big. I'm not mad okay, at Lindsay. I'm not trying to argue with Lindsay. The thing is, I come in clearly showing that I don't give a fuck about yeah, the thanks, rules. Thanks, Jess. And the Lindsay and Sissy will roll their skirts and then cover it so no one can notice that right, they're right. No, you are breaking the rules. I'm breaking one the one rule. So you guys can break one rule, but I can't break more than one. Yeah. We well, are breaking oh, about okay. 10. <laughs> the point of this week is to wear a fucking uniform. You're not care. wearing a fucking uniform. You're wearing an outfit. Yeah, you, you've made it into an outfit. Like, you've made it into an outfit. I'm sorry that I'm creative. Today was heated, man. Sissy and I took it a lot more offensively than I thought. Sissy and Lindsay were so mad at me. I don't know, I get their point and everything like that, but they were also really, really, really quick 
to rat me out to Chloe when they were rolling their skirts and I didn't say shit. This is me now. I'm a cartoon character. I just wear the same thing every day. I'm trying to be good for them because Lindsay and Sissy are like, meh, 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 meh. I will say one thing though about my outfit today. I am wearing shoes that I'm probably not supposed to wear. So it's time for a uniform check. These ladies have not been good at doing this. Definitely need to give them a bit of a shock. Oh, hello. Oh, no. All right, everyone stand up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most inappropriate thing you've done so far. Your tie, well, you've got your thing on. Oh, you haven't got your skirt on. No. Well See, mm. I'm not that bad today. Okay, no roll up. Yep, you're perfect. I know right. I am. You have a good tie on, good top button. Roll up. So yes. What? Yes, you have dunks. <laughs> Since you're the biggest dunks, you get dunks done. Oh. That's good. Oh. Give it to Lindsay. Oh. Let her suffer. <laughs> I thought wearing a choker was bad, but this is just like. So it's Friday, and all I want to do is look cute on a Friday. It's the last day when you have you know, dirty clothes during the week. Normally it's like, oh, okay, like I'll just wear something else. This is the only thing I have to wear. I miss these. I also miss patterns. I miss denim. Chrissy, you've sat next to us this entire week. What have been your thoughts? I feel like more drama has ensued while you guys have worn these. Something that I didn't really think about is like the fact, I guess, of me being insecure in this outfit. So I've had kind of a rough time with being in public alone. I enjoyed it for the first couple days and then the last few days I was like, no. In meetings, I didn't feel as confident, that sucked. They're great for the people that are cool with them, but I don't know, I feel for those people that clearly like want to be themselves and feel restricted. I totally understand why school uniforms are in place. There was a sense of like unity when it came with it. I felt like a lot of school pride. Also, I just felt like we look like a squad. <laughs> Welcome to BuzzFeed High. How's everybody doing this morning? I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. You cheated? Whose fault was that? As long as you tried your best. I mean, unless you failed. This is gonna be a show. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Hold on, I was looking at my boobs. Or are you fucking serious? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Lindsay. And we are following a high school schedule for an entire day. Is that enough drama? High school was overall 80% good for me, but I would never go back. I was so shy in high school. I would love to go back as not a shy person. At first I was like, ooh, going back to high school, fun. And then you realize how restricting it was. I've been an adult without rules for so long. And now we're going to a place where we can't even go to the bathroom without asking. No one's gonna make me hold my pee. <laughs> you don't know. Welcome to BuzzFeed High. I'm Principal Alsup. I'll be your leader, mentor, captain through this experience. You know, I want what's best for the kids. I want to have fun. But the only way to have fun is to follow the rules. If you break any of them, they lead to a strike. If you get three strikes, you go to detention. And we don't want to have to go to detention. I don't like this. Right off the bat, skipping class. If you're not here, you get a strike. You're here to learn, you're here to have fun, so be here. Be present. I never what? skipped class ever. Me, 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 me. Well, did you? Not all the time. Curse words, uh-uh, not gonna happen. If you wanna do that, go into an alleyway. This is gonna be a Oh. Phone out in class without permission. It was like a big thing to cheat. I didn't cheat a lot. <laughs> you cheated? <laughs> Behavioral problems. Behave like the person you wish to be once you turn 18. We can't talk back to the teachers. If the teachers are wrong, I'm t I'll tell them. <laughs> so everybody has to have a hall pass. We can't have people pretending to be high schoolers. These are kids. Yeah. They need you need to know where they are. Violating dress code. We all want to be dressed for optimal fun. Don't uh, have any droops, any loops, or any boops showing. Whatever I want to wear, I will. I was voted most likely to start a fashion trend, so I will be keeping that up. And last but not least, uh, being tardy to class. Lindsay is late to a lot of things. We need to watch you on tardiness. Watch me 
for everything else. <laughs> now that we got all the rules out of the way, I just want to say I'm a cool guy, but I will be scouring the halls and seeing if you're breaking any of these rules, and I will send you to detention at any moment if you hit three strikes. So let's make sure you don't do that. Just give us our school supplies. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I want the white one. Oh, too bad. Romeo and Juliet. One page. <laughs> Is it double spaced? All right, so it's the night before school. The clock's ticking. I still haven't gotten my homework done. I'm PMSing. Sue me. This is Kate. Kate is my significant other. My significant other is a ninth grade English teacher. Oh, this is not who fair. Who teaches Romeo and Juliet. What do you know about this act two, scene two? It's important. <laughs> Are you going to tell me him? I'll ask you guiding questions. Okay. But you got to learn on your own. That's what high school's all about. I have just finished my one page paper. It was hard. I wonder how Lindsay's doing though because she called me maybe 15 minutes ago and I hadn't even started yet. Romance. It's double spaced, so that's good. <laughs> that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. All right, I already know now. I'm about to go read the clip notes. <laughs> I could barely get through this essay though. So hopefully I wake up on time. See you at 5 a.m. I can't believe this is happening right now. The sun hasn't even come out yet. It is 6.24. The bus is coming at 6.50. I have no makeup on, nothing packed. Don't know what I'm wearing. I was supposed to do this last night, but I fell asleep. I literally have three minutes until the bus shows up. I just parked at Jazz and I'll show you my outfit later. I didn't have time. Just walk into the bus stop. <laughs> This is terrible. Oh, <laughs> well, there she is, our school bus. The bus was supposed to leave at 6.51. I walked out of my house at 6.53. Thankfully, the bus was still there. Normally, that wouldn't happen. Actually, I made really good friends with my bus drivers. They would have waited for me. I oh, Jasmine, I yeah. love Let me just do a little <laughs> call. Exactly. Are you ready for school? Yeah. I lost my school schedule. How? I don't know. It's been less than 24 hours. I know, I don't know where it is. Thanks, sir. Thanks, bus driver. <laughs> Good morning, Principal Elsa. Good morning. First stop was our locker. All right, our lockers, I believe, are down this hallway. Oh, okay. look at our lockers. Model you all right, I'm gonna put my gym clothes in here. Oh, good idea. So I'm gonna go to morning announcements. Okay. I'll see you in first period. All right, good luck. Thanks. This is our BuzzFeed High school schedule. Oh, it starts with um, history with Mr. Madey. Oh, No, oh, this is so cute. Good morning. Hi, you look spiffy. Oh, thank you. I did morning announcements in high school. I was on the broadcast team, so I thought I gotta do them again. Good morning. Buzzfeed High. Hope you all have a fun day. But remember, to have fun, you gotta follow the rules. Thank you. <clears throat> Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Here we go. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for, for which, which it stands, stands one, nation, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So for lunch today, <laughs> we have a menu of, hold on one second. There's a menu. What the hell, this announcement suck. For lunch today, we have chicken tenders, potato wedges, snack cup, and either chocolate milk or juice. Let's go corgis, go get them, woof woof. I love my job. How's everybody doing this morning? You know, yeah. it's early. I'm gonna see if I can switch this board around. Oh, oh. Well now. Oh, there's a wall. I should have planned for this. <laughs> Mr. Midday was a cool teacher. It was a nice way to kick off the day. Quick heads up before we begin, you will want to take notes because there's going to be a pop quiz. Well, I guess it's not a pop quiz because I'm telling you about it. Do we get to use our notes we'll on the quiz? It'll be open note. Oh, <gasps> beautiful. To be honest, it was American history and I was like, what are we gonna talk about here? October 24th, 1929. Does this date look familiar to um, any of you? I was born in October. Yeah, Jasmine's well, birthday is on the first. That day was known as Black Thursday when a devastating stock market crash hit America. Oh. Does anybody know what this chapter is called? The Great Depression. The Great 
depression. So we're gonna have some fun today. Mr. Mede had a great way of just connecting with us, yeah. having fun. There's even more trouble brewing in Oklahoma, Texas, <gasps> and Kansas. Oh, that's around where I'm from. Uh-oh. The area was hit with a series of dust storms resulting in a little thing called the Dust Bowl. Isn't that like a football game or something? The Dust Bowl? You know how there's like bowl games for colleges? That sounds right. People are living in little shanty towns. Hoovervilles. Why do you suppose they call them that? Was Hoover the president? Hoover was the president. Oh! I was thinking vacuums. Well, yeah, I could have used those during the Dust Bowl, you know? Yeah. <laughs> In November of 1932, Hoover lost his election in a landslide to... Roosevelt? The only thing we have to fear... Is fear itself! That's right! I love it. Now, did the New Deal work out? We're gonna save all that for next time. For now, it's quiz time. Oh! As long as you tried your best. I mean, unless you failed. Ooh. You both passed. Woo! I got a hundred. Yeah, you just got that one wrong. Yeah, I know, I see it. It's okay, we both got A's. I'm okay. uh, Shane, I mean, Mr. Bidet <laughs> gave us A's. <laughs> oh, there's the bell. Let's go. We have four minutes. <laughs> We're both on our period, so like our passing period bathroom time is crucial. We only have four minutes between passing periods. I'll just bleed. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Okay, I'll be really quick. We have two minutes. Two minutes? How much time do we have? Ah! Okay. Where is Zuhoka? I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. We are here in English class with Miss Makatangai. Uh, but call me Miss M. Okay. We do have some ground rules and expectations so that we stay engaged. First of all, show respect to others and yourself. Two, speak your truth. I don't want any spark notes. I want what you think about the text. If you break one of these, you will get a shrink. <laughs> Did everyone do the assignment? Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm gonna have everyone recite their papers so that the class can know what you thought about the text. Almost like your own personal soliloquy. Oh! Who wants to go first? Romeo and Juliet's relationship is hot, juicy, and pretty desirable. Juliet is chilling at home with the other Capulets, and all of a sudden, this boy she kissed once comes to her window and is like, hey, babe, babe, what up, though? When you think about it, Romeo and Juliet were the first true episode of Catfish. Um, I am ending this paper with the fact that I think Romeo is a Gemini. See, the thing is, if you distract your teachers with personality, they will never know because they'll be so dazzled. Yeah, that's what exactly what happened. I mean, if you have your thesis, you have the evidence. Yeah. I'll take it. In that class, I like felt myself reverting back to like who I was when I was in high school and how nervous I got like presenting my work in front of the class. Yeah. You don't like you staring at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, this is a safe space. <clears throat> As the Grammy-nominated recording artist Khalid once wrote, we're just young, dumb, and broke, but we still got a lot of love to give. Shakespeare depicts what may seem to be a beautiful confession of love and sacrifice on the surface, yet underneath has undertones of their impending death and arrogance. For example, Romeo swoons, I would I were thy bird. Juliet declared that if he was her pet bird, she'd love to pet him so much that she'd kill him. Although true, authentic love may be worth death, Shakespeare may argue that this fake idea of love that Romeo and Juliet died for was more of a loss rather than a beautiful sacrifice. That was beautiful! That was beautiful! I don't think Khalid was during Shakespearean time. Usually in English essays, you want to keep your evidence to the time, if that makes sense. Oh, oh you think Jazz's was to the time? Wait, we're not comparing here, we're talking about yours! A whole nother side of you came out during this day, and that was a competitive grouch. I am putting to work, and I just want to see the results. Come back to me. Like we don't even win anything. We don't even go here. We don't, we truly, this is made up. But I will take it because it was beautifully written. Oh, thank you. 
I walked away with an A minus. Yeah. Am I bitter? Yeah. Miss M, am I gonna talk to you after class? <laughs> yeah. Remember, speak your truths. Thank you. I love, love that for us. There's our PE coach. Good morning, ladies. I can't wait to see you in class later today. All right. Wow, she's hot. We headed over to physics, which we honestly weren't very excited about. This is me in physics class right now. I walked into the room for a minute, saw that board with all that physics stuff, and I was like, not for me. Before I start on Newton, there are a few concepts that you have to, to know about. So one is that motion is always relative. So um, I dared Lindsay to try to take a video of our teacher, like spice things up. And she spins around with a speed of, let's say, 10 kilometers. Okay. at a constant speed, however. Can you just teach that one more time? Yes. Okay. So I knew as soon as she turned her back and started writing some equations on the board, <laughs> I got this in the bag. Let's say, think about a circle on, on your steering wheel. Is your steering wheel straight? Circle. Let's so velocity, people think it's the same as speed. So speed is a part of velocity. Speed is a magnitude of velocity. I was trying to learn, and then there was a point where I was just like, I don't get it. So then I just kind of spaced. So I just want to clarify those terms so you have a different, because when we, we say- We haven't even started. We haven't. Oh, no. Yes, we're just clarifying terms. Normally when we do videos, it's like, okay, we'll roll for 15 minutes and then we're done. No, we sat there the entire time. So what is inertia? Inertia, is, it's how something is resistant to change. Like me. If you're on the couch, there's no force yeah. to get you off the couch. You're not gonna get off the couch till Jasmine calls you and says, like, let's go to Harry Styles concert. Right, right. And that is a great enough force to move you out yes. of your couch. Yes, it is. You get change and drive. It's more than enough. Yes. She literally catered the whole class to Liz. She literally made every single situation with Harry Styles' name in it. That's the only thing keeping me awake yeah. in that class. Let's say Harry Styles. Let's uh, say it. He's heading to that concert. Well, he's he's behind you. He's oh. driving his Miata. He has a he's motorcycle. A, a puppy runs across the street. Oh, he loves puppies. You break. You don't want to kill that yeah. freaking puppy. Harry Styles, because he's a safe driver, yeah. he breaks on time uh -huh. and just stops right for you and doesn't hit you. And if he hit me, I would have met him. Yeah, but if he was driving his tour bus, which is larger, do you think the truck will hit you? Yeah, more mass. And then you can meet Harry's house. Except we might get crushed. Good luck. So it's a give and take. Yeah. Let's do a pop quiz. No. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm getting all these wrong. Why are you writing for so long? It's just one answer. I gave cool. the reason. You know what? I wasn't even like good at. I mean, I was better than Lindsay, but. Lindsay, this is an extra credit question uh -huh. in order for you to pass the class. Oh no. You and Harry Styles are in a plane together. Oh, that's really great. There's a bar inside the plane. Romance. <laughs> There's only one Dr. Pepper left. You guys grab it at the same time. <gasps> Our hands touch. Harry Styles is like, okay, I'm gonna flip a coin. Will it get left behind? It'll land where we are. Yes! I nearly failed. You truly failed. She was just really nice to you. Why is that? Um, because of um, something about velocity. She gave me one extra credit point. And yeah, she even got that wrong. <laughs> I did <laughs> not! You did! No, I didn't! You did! I will still give you that point even though you don't quite know. I answered you said the wrong one first and then I was like, it's mouse. And you were like, mouse. No! <laughs> That's the class! Yep. Woo! You almost got a lot of strikes that last class. Lindsay was sassy, Lindsay used her phone, and Lindsay almost failed. That's, Lindsay almost got three strikes in physics alone. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna grab a snack. Hopefully I can eat in class, I have no idea, but lunch is not for another period or two. Welcome to Spanish class. Woo! Mr. Del Orbe. Jazz was a crush on Mr. Del Orbe. <laughs> My goal is for you guys to at least know how to greet in Spanish and understand the basics of Spanish. Yeah. But I do have rules. There's no gum chewing in my class. This was at the point where I was like tiptoeing into my peak hanger. She literally reaches behind into her backpack, makes the noise of grabbing every chip ever. What's that noise? <laughs> if I let you eat in class, that means I'm letting everybody in this class eat. Slippery slope. Slippery slope. Clearly, Jazz was the favorite student in that class. How? How? Uh, hola, como estas? 
ESPN. Nah, I see, I see. That's good. Wow. Somebody's gonna get an A in this class, huh? Huh? Somebody ahead of the curve. What about you? I took French. Are you I not just remember? attentive? You would say one word and he just would give you high fives. You kidding me? Thanks. Lizzie, you know. <laughs> You're hungry. And you tried to sneak chips in. Of course yeah, he because didn't like you. I was hungry. I have meat. How about you two practice on each other? Mm -hmm. Como estas? Tango hombre. <laughs> <laughs> or they could be like, está atrás? You okay? You bored in the class? <sighs> Tired and hungry? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh. Hi. Whose phone was that? Is that yours? Is that my phone? <laughs> My bad, that was, that was my phone, y'all. But don't be having your phone. <laughs> All right. What have you guys learned today? There's acentos and tildes. Yes. Which takes you from potato to dad. There you go. You know what? You get extra points. Woo! Right. Now let's test you. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? Aquí con hombre. ¿Y por qué? ¿Por qué uh, no comí esta mañana? All right, you guys passed the class. You Woo! Adios, señor. Adios. <laughs> it's been a long day. I feel like I've been here for seven years. After Spanish, we had PE. Got my clothes. Class, class, hello everybody. I thought it was the most fun because we had to be around other classmates. You really just but didn't want to be around no, me. No, 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 I was just <laughs> glad to be around other people. <laughs> I am Ms. Harrison, I will be your PE teacher. PE stands for physical education. You will be getting an education out of this, okay? Jazz and Ryan were <laughs> whispering together in the corner. Um, you got something to share with the class? No. You sure? Nope. I just said she was thick. <laughs> Tag. How to play that? I can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. Y'all choose. Y'all pick. That wasn't a strike though. No. Meanwhile. <gasps> Everybody know how to play dodgeball? Oh, uh, damn it. Oh. oh. <laughs> you got your first strike. I said, damn it. But right now I need everybody to come up out their jewelry and then we'll get ready to select teams. Miss Harrison was a total yacht. Got <laughs> the jewelry, baby. You even earrings? Yeah, I'm not playing. Had me take out all my facial jewelry, all my earrings. Since Jasmine did the most dedication coming out of all of her piercings, you'll be our other captain, man. Woo! All right. <laughs> You're out of bounds is the orange line. You must stay in it. If you go outside of it, you are out. Again, below the shoulders. I am watching you all. I hate this right. so much. <laughs> Every time we started a game and we went to go run to the line, I didn't do it. And I think I've been doing that since like third grade. <laughs> my strategy was just to kind of stay in the back, shimmied my way along that line until I just couldn't shimmy anymore. Wow, that shows really the type of survivor you are. Oh yeah, if I was in the Hunger Games, I would have hidden a tree for sure. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Oh! Oh! <laughs> there you go, Lindsay. That's okay. Oh! oh. oh. Yeah. My team won, yeah. Definitely. Definitely thanks to me. Yeah. Definitely contributed a lot. <laughs> Can we please make sure we're being aware of the rules when yes, my clients get hit in the face? You got hit in the face. Wait, what? <laughs> you got hit, who did it? And then come back down. And uh, now when your arms are up there, I want you to just reach, reach to the side. Great job today, everybody. <laughs> got that chocolate milk. We got sugar and we got yellow. Those are our food groups. It's a little cold, <laughs> as in very cold. Meanwhile, this is what our crew's eating. Freaking Chipotle. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Great. Great. We have pizza in the teacher's lounge. <laughs> or the snack packs. Snacky. Yeah, they're um. I saw that. Oh. Any strikes yet today? Uh, Let's just, talk about it, Linz. Just maybe one. What'd you do? I can't look at you in the eye. <laughs> like let a word slip in in PE class. What word? It's <sighs> <laughs> 
I'm cranky, honestly. How do you feel? <sighs> no. No. Oh, I love these waters. Stop flirting Except with our teacher. Me. After lunch, we of course had math. So I'm Mr. St. Jess. This is math three, aka trig. Oh, what? I walked in thinking it was pre-cal to learn that it was actually trig. I never was in those AP classes. Yo, never. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not good at math at all. If you guys just trust me, follow this journey, it's gonna be really, really good. Luckily, our teacher was really nice. Yes. He was really sweet, mm -hmm. he was cute. He cared about me. <laughs> His whole day is just you you thirsty know, after all of our it teachers. It helps when they're cute. So you guys know trig is the math of triangles, all right? I Think didn't, about, to be honest, I didn't. With this triangle, I want you to kind of imagine it as, it's like a baby. <laughs> you can measure a triangle in a lot of different ways, just like when you see a baby. Babies can be cute, or they can be funny. If I say a around baby. get it? Like a triangle? <laughs> <laughs> so, one more, so jump back in. We're gonna, we're gonna jump back oh, into. You, isn't that uh, side, the other side of the triangle always the longest side? That is always the longest side. So if you have uh, a long baby, right? On. There we go. Hell yeah, baby. Oh. <gasps> I, it's hell of a bad word. It's not bad. That is a bad word. I, come, I treated you guys like adults. Oh. I wasn't that teacher. <laughs> I said hell yeah, like in a positive way. Doesn't matter. That's a strike for me, dog. Um, we're... <laughs> Why am I like this? I didn't cuss at all in high school. I didn't even start cussing until like later years of college. This is something that you learned before. Now we're gonna pick it up a little bit. Oh. The Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. <laughs> Sine theta will tell you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? No. Okay. Do you guys have animals? Yeah. I have a dog named Quincy. Quincy got caught in a tree. Realized I need to get to Quincy, but I don't know how tall this tree is. We don't have a ladder. You don't have a ladder. Got or like a phone to call like a yeah. fire station. Okay, so this is, now we're in the 1800s. I don't think I would own a dog in the 1800s. Like the history of my okay. people. Okay, we're in the 1800s <laughs> in the motherland. Okay. <laughs> That's the son of the motherland. What's your first method in setting this problem up? We would do sign. You do five over question mark, and then you start canceling it out. And then you start canceling it out. I, I think it's time for a quiz. <gasps> I'm. Can we? Do we have to get rid of this? Positive. I'll fail this. The good thing is, is we both kind of failed that pop quiz, but we were so engaged with getting it right that our teacher let us pass the class. I feel like you guys passed because you guys learned something. Yeah. Are you sure? Like, we, we, we got through trig. Yeah. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you. Don't forget to study. Stay Ugh. in school. If I get another strike in Rie's class, I literally have to go to detention. Mm -hmm. We went to our last class of the day. Thank goodness. Welcome to home economy class. So my class role is very simple, no crossword. And I'm gonna just simply judge what you made. Mrs. McClenny was so sweet. And encouraging. Yes. And we needed that because we were yawning every three seconds at this point of the day. Why are you so quiet? I'm just sleeping standing up right now, <laughs> honestly. Today I'm teaching you tamagoyaki. It's Japanese um, egg omelette. First, I'm going to show you how to make it and you guys do after me, so pay attention. We are going to use chopstick to cook today. Oh. That's it? Yeah. You like take the egg and then you roll it, and then you pour more and then you roll it back and then you pour more and you roll it. And you keep on rolling it. Oh. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ew. Wow. Good thing that wasn't a streak. Yeah. I went the entire day somehow um, not having to take a bathroom break in the middle of class, but this time I couldn't hold it anymore. Wait, Miss McClenny? Yes? Can I use the bathroom before we start? Sure. <laughs> Wash your hands. Yeah. yeah I will. <laughs> hey, go. Oh, the pass. <laughs> wow. So I took the um, giant pink flamingo and headed on my way. Oh, no. Hey. Hey, hall pass? Yes, pass. I have my hall pass. Hey. I love eggs. Oh yeah? I do. Another teacher. You got your hot packs with you? I did. And it's usually an omelet form, mm -hmm. but it could be in hard boiled. Yeah. Or, you know, a sunny side up. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh oh. 
What are you doing? Oh. Ran into a bully. <laughs> Did you wash your hands? Yes, I washed my hands, <laughs> Miss McClaney. I hope so. Mine got a little too thick. You could never be too thick, but she was up there. Woo! Lindsay, yours looks like butter. It's good. Oh. It's very fluffy. Hmm. Well, so will be a pass my class. Yay! We both passed. She said she liked one better, but I forgot which one. Bye! Bye! <laughs> it's the end of the day. We're going home. Go to our lockers for the last time. Let's go. I walked away feeling a lot of emotions and the yeah. same things that I felt when I would go home from high school, too. All right, well. <sighs> This stuff is exhausting. It's exhausting. Teens and kids today have to be just like working their asses off. What if they have practice? What if they have games? What if they have to work? Yeah. What if they have to babysit? What if they have to take care of their family? I kind of went into this thinking, all right, I'm just gonna like memorize the information. Yes. And just pass the classes. But when it came down to it, we got very serious. <laughs> stuff still mattered to us. What made me get through the day was like really awesome supportive teachers. With redoing high school, I mean, I don't want to do it again. Let us know in the comments what we should redo next. Yeah, what should we redo next? We're gonna go sleep now for five years. Everybody prepares for this high school moment. Dresses and their limos. There's movies, there's TV shows. A whole genre dedicated to prom. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Jasmine. I was prom queen. And I've never been to prom. So this week, we're going back to high school. So in high school, I was actually pretty shy. I had a perspective of prom where it was like, that's where the cool, popular girls go, and it's just like not my crowd. It wasn't even a big decision. I was just like, yeah, of course I'm not going. Really? I, yeah, I didn't I didn't go to any dances except for like my choir banquet. I was surprised to be nominated. I didn't even vote for myself. I voted for my friend Andrea. That's why you won, because you're so giving. I definitely don't regret not going to prom, but the one thing I totally missed out on that I really want to experience is like pre-prep going to prom. Mm -hmm. Like the promposal, the shopping for your dress. I went to prom with two dates. Uh, I walked in like this and I, I felt like I was the king of the world. But one of them ended up making out with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a busy prom week. You need to ask me. <gasps> so you need a prom pose to me. And then we have to get your dress. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this part. I'm not worried about the pre-pro of it. I'm worried about going to prom yeah. with like cool teens. Yeah. Like who do we sit with? Do we eat dinner with people? Do we have to mingle? Are they gonna accept us into the teen community? I was leaving like my Bible study with all my friends and then I walked outside and he had his truck there and he was playing Breaking Free and then he was just there being like, will you go to prom with me? And I was like, how could I say no to Troy and Gabriella? Yes, I'll of course go to prom with you. Hello everybody. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Mission Promposal. So I had to do all the work for this promposal. I was really nervous that I couldn't think of something amazing and great, but then I realized, let's just break it down. What is Jasmine like? Here's the thing she likes. <laughs> she loves Cardi B. Her favorite flower is sunflowers, and she also loves fried chicken. I think there should be a scavenger hunt involved. I think that we should find all of the like most popular Cardi B yes. lyrics, yes. and then that'll help us figure out what to put in the scavenger hunt. Correct. Yeah. I just got word that Jasmine just arrived, and I'm trying to stay out of sight. There's a window over there that I can like kind of see. I think she should arrive at security and security hands her one sunflower and a note. Oh my God. <laughs> You're looking like a snack or maybe a whole meal. Go to the spot that has the banana peels. Is that the canteen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, see Jasmine. She has a sunflower. It's one of my favorite flowers, so she did good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go to the people who send you your paycheck. Accounting? Where's accounting? I think she's gonna be really confused with this clue because I don't think she has any idea where accounting is. <laughs> They're coming in through the side door. <laughs> Megan, are you like just as excited as me? I'm like so excited. Wow. 
This is gonna be better than my wedding proposal. Gotta lick. Where do you go to take your IG pics? I'm guessing this is the blue wall. It would be cool though that if it was outside that we get like everyone to come outside and want. Like kind of like how high schools will like bring everyone out into like a parking lot or something. Everybody come outside. All right, can, come outside, come outside, come outside, come outside, come outside. Everybody line up on the sides from the door, like all the way to the sign, okay? And then I want to end on a giant sign outside that says prom occur. Wait, I gotta get my, oh, I gotta get my flowers. And then also have sunflowers and fried chicken as gifts. All right, she's coming. <laughs> <laughs> like cute and the little scavenger hunt with all the rhymes and to end it with my beautiful best friend and some chicken. I feel like friends should do it too. Like composal shouldn't be reserved for just romantic people. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes! Yeah! I'm crying! <laughs> I think it was senior year. I forgot that I asked a freshman to prom, like jokingly, and he thought I was serious. And he showed up to prom ready to go, but I didn't have a ticket for him. I feel bad, it still haunts me to this day. All right, we're going to prom dress shopping. I have all my friends in the car. I just feel like when you go prom dress shopping, you bring your friends, right? No, it was my mom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I went with my mom too. I went with my boyfriend's mom. <gasps> wow. Oh. This is so <gasps> Oh my. Like a little Barbie. <gasps> Oh my god, I love this one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I feel like teens now, with just the simplicity of having the internet and social media and comparing your prom dress to like the Met Gala, <laughs> teens have such high expectations. Like when I was in high school, it was just like, oh, go to your local department store, yeah. you know, whatever. No one really got prom dresses online. Now, yeah. teens go all out. Like prom was already such a big thing, but in today's day and age, it's a bigger thing. Oh my god. <laughs> we ended up picking up like 35 dresses. We like walked in there with a game plan and grabbed as many dresses that we liked in your size. Nothing here is exactly what she said she wanted, so anything she picks is gonna pretty much be a wild card. Oh yeah, we made sure there's a lot of wild cards. You know, it started out kind of rocky. Nothing was speaking yeah. to me. Oh, what's going on there? Oh. Wow. Wow, no. <laughs> Just no. That looks itchy. I wouldn't want to dance with you. <clears throat> you look like Sansa season one. <laughs> Of Game of Thrones. My beloved Joffrey. My beloved Joffrey. Ooh. Ooh. I hate it. I hate it too, actually. <laughs> it's okay. I'm my mom. Oh. Wow. <laughs> We've talked about things being so ugly that they're oh, cute. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. hoping for that moment, but it was just ugly. It was just ugly. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one. Uh, this one. Okay, this is my favorite. Here's the catch. It doesn't fit. There was one that was like so beautiful that I loved, but it didn't have it my size, so we had to like put it to rest. Wow. I initially wanted to go in looking for a princessy sparkly, just like over the top, because it's prom. That's like the one time mm -hmm. you can do that. If this is like my prom moment, I want to feel like I'm in something. Something more. Oh. Mama. Okay. We got down to two that we really liked. And it was like total opposites yeah. too. And that's something I was like not expecting to want to get for prom. But that one like spoke to me the most. Mm -hmm. I got the prom dress. I'm not going to show you the bag because it's a secret. It looks really good. But we had a really hard time deciding. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm not even going. Can I just like be the mom that takes pictures before? I was with the girlfriends and we're going to go to prom together and it was going to be amazing. But then I got a hernia and I literally had surgery on prom night. We gotta get going because I don't have my earrings. I don't have a bag. I gotta get my nails done. Also, I woke up and my neck hurts so bad and I'm like, this would never happen to a teen on their prom day. Like this is some mid twenties Usually for a normal event, I just like get ready for that event like an hour or two before the event. Mm -hmm. But since this was prom, I had to get my nails done. I didn't have a bag yet, I didn't have my earrings yet. Mm -hmm. I was like running around town at like 9 a.m. I think these are our only options, so might have to just make one of these work. 
failed me, you guys. I went in, they had no sparkly earrings. I wanted long, just diamondy, whatever. And the only diamondy things they had were these tiny little studs. So I guess this is gonna be more of a simple look now. I didn't like any of the bags and I wanted gold because the dress is like orangey. And I'm time I think of orangey, I think of gold. I don't think of silver. Uh but I'm at the nail salon now. Oh man, I feel like the, the dress would just look better with long earrings. God, I look terrible, but look how good my nails look. We found a color that looks just like the dress. Bam! In order to do this video, we obviously had to find an actual high school prom, which was really difficult to do, but we found a LA homeschool prom, which was like perfect for us because we're not homeschooled, but like we didn't go to the school either. Yeah. Okay, I just got to the hotel and the prom jitters are already starting because I walk in and there's so many teens in the lobby like with their dresses and stuff and I'm like, I am doing my own prom makeup. I feel like a lot of times I see people get their prom makeup done, which sounds exciting and cool, but I don't know, I just kind of was like, I just want to do my own prom makeup. I think I'm just going to do something super basic with an add lashes and a red lip. Anytime I walk around, I'm going to feel like I need to explain myself why I'm going to prom, even though to other people, I might just look like 18. You will. Me, I'll look like your aunt. <laughs> All right, this is us practicing our PG dance moves tonight. <laughs> I felt really good in like my outfit and Jazz's outfit mm -hmm. and just like we felt really confident so it was just like fun to dress up regardless of how the night would go. I'm getting my train. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah. I love it. I feel like me still. I feel elegant. I feel comfortable. My dress picking came like a few days before prom, actually. I was going to wear like a suit and then I just went shopping for another video and found this beautiful pink ruffled dress. I wish I would have worn Nike's to right? my prom. I think more people should. Yeah. All right, so final step. Corsage! One, two, three. <laughs> of course, a um, corsage moment <laughs> was essential to the prom experience. Yes. Woo! So cute! It really is. It goes with your outfit. These are like wristwatches. <laughs> what time, time is it? <laughs> prom time. <laughs> So it was time to go to prom. We got in our Uber XL. Oh. We were gonna get a limo because that's what prom kids do, but it was like down the street. The Literally, so. we got into our car and we could see the venue from the car, but we got a car. We just needed to arrive in something. How you feeling, Jess? I'm feeling good. I kind of just got really nervous though. I know, but I'm just glad that we're doing it together because yeah. if I was going by myself, I'd feel horrible. Oh my gosh, scared. yeah. Hopefully the food's good. I got the chicken. Did you get the chicken? I got the chicken. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. I hope you have a magical time at prom. Dress up. This is like your mini Met Gala. Do something really cool with your makeup because I know that you're capable. Have fun. Have a blast. This is the time of your life. You're never going to get it again, girl. Don't go. Just buy a car or something. There's so many other things you could do besides spending money on prom. Just don't make out with your ex. We got to the venue, which was Sky Space. We started going up the elevator to 70 floors. Oh, there's us. Oh my God. I'm scared of heights. I'm terrified of heights. It started setting in that like, what are people gonna think when we walk in? Oh, like, what are you doing at our prom? You know, like I was scared for the teen angst. Yeah. Oh my God. Was just friends and nice, and so many people came and talked to us. So many people that watched BuzzFeed. There's a rainbow! Oh my god! And the rain stopped, and so there was a rainbow. Yeah. Took pictures outside with the beautiful view. Ah! Jazz didn't want to go down the sky slide. No. I'm about to go on the sky slide, which is a slide that's like completely see through. Yeah. And you can see all of LA under you. Slide weighs 10,000 pounds. That is so scary. Spots at a table with a bunch of tea. Yeah, we're all really cool. I made a friend! Is this your first homeschool prom? Yes. <gasps> yeah, it is. It's our first together! This is so fun because yeah. we love looking at everyone's outfits. Ooh, the lights just go. Oh. Things get crazy when the lights go off. Oh, there's a proposal happening! Not 
from the teens. The teens, mm. not from the teens. Like an adult from downstairs when we're looking out the window. We're gonna go dance now. We started dancing and they were playing music. Yeah. They were playing all of the music that we listened to when we were yeah. young. Yeah. I just can't. <laughs> so clear when we were there that I was old, man. Yeah, I wanted a cocktail real bad, but I can just imagine that I was their age and a teen, like would have just had a blast. I was surprised at what prom turned out to be, mm -hmm. but also not surprised at all. The magic of prom is the people you surround yourself with. For sure. Looking back, I didn't go to my prom mostly because the people that did weren't really the people I hung out with. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I would have had fun, but it was really cool as an adult to kind of just dress up and go through the motions. Would you recommend teens yeah. going to their prom now? Prom isn't the end-all be-all. Go if you want to go, don't go if you don't want to go. Go and dance for a little bit, then leave. Yeah. Get that free dessert and then go. Oh man, I forgot the cake! Yeah. I forgot oh, the cake! Oh, you didn't eat it. I ate the bread pudding. Oh, I forgot. From 2K19! Everybody to me looks like beautiful, long-haired dancers, and I do not emulate that at all. Being a dancer is so hard. You want over a million people to see you, what you just did? Is that ready? But I want you to get excited. These ladies have trained for an entire month just to perform for you right now. So give it up and let us hear it for the final day! Month, we're gonna learn how to dance like a professional dance crew. I'm so nervous already and it hasn't even started yet. Why did you get me into this? We'll be training three times a week leading up to a huge final performance in front of our whole office. When I think of the professional dancers you see on shows like So You Think You Can Dance or America's Best Dance Crew, I think perfection. Empowered. Flawless. We are not going to be as perfect or as beautiful, but we're gonna try. I am not good at dancing, but because of my athletic background, I do have a fair amount of body awareness. Growing up dance was my entire life. To get even a percentage of what I used to be able to do back would be really fun. I've always wanted to take dance classes, but I've been super nervous because everybody in these classes looks like they know what the hell they're doing. I want to learn how to have the artfulness and confidence of a dancer with my own body. I could barely just do a presentation at work, let alone get in front of all my coworkers and dance in front of them. People are coming, I hear them. I just want to be able to just get out there and be awesome and be confident. Let's dance! On the first day, we get to the studio, and I'm really, really excited. Hey guys, I'm Robert. I used to be a former dancer in the industry. Robert's a great teacher. He's no nonsense, which reminds me of all of the dance teachers I've ever had. So today is a little bit orientation, kind of like a consultation. Great, so you're just trying to figure out if we suck or not. These girls coming from not having a dance background makes me a little nervous. Might not retain choreography as fast as needed. Since you, Miss Kelsey, said you are very confident in your skills, you start the dance. Left. Arch and butt. Up, one step, boom, and then you're gonna bring it down. Our group seems like we're picking it up fast, so I'm really happy. Switch, switch, up, right, left, hit, down, up. First dance practice, down! Yes. We did it! I was scared that I was gonna walk away from this being like, what the hell did I get myself into? But honestly, I think this is gonna be a blast. Today just got so real. Learning the moves is one thing, and the cleaning day is a completely different story. We are going to run through the dance. I want to see the practice. They're smaller bodies than mine. Their bodies and how they move compared to my body and how it moves, like, it's not the same. Robert is constantly saying, be sexy in the face, make it believable. Energy is a performance. Just because you're doing a dance doesn't mean you're executing it well. Look how low I am. Look how high you guys are. Stop being babies. I'm skeptical. Robert is asking us to do a lot of things with our bodies that I don't know that my body can do. We all were struggling with it. We all felt really insecure about it. When you see like Beyonce's backup dancers do this, they're hired to shake their asses like that. They look great. Hopefully that comes with time, but I don't know that it will. You're shortchanging yourself. You need to be confident in 
what you're doing. I really don't think my body can move in the way they want me to. Good rehearsal, execution-wise, you gotta ramp it up. I thought it was just gonna be one dance, one song, that's it. Robert brings out the chairs and I already know it's coming. It's very sensual, it's very intimate. You know just what to do to make me fall in love, in love. I am worried that I will come off as too slutty. I want to be sexy, but my body is not doing that. Be sexy. I don't even know what that looks like. Yeah, I really like the beginning. I can see you're more confident with that too than as opposed to the chair stuff. So try to carry that confidence throughout. Just keep it, you know, constant, like high level the whole time. We're starting a new dance next week. You guys need to come Monday knowing your shit. I don't need to keep repeating myself anymore. When you're training for a show or you're on tour, you don't get to take days off. So we don't get to take days off either. Time is of the essence. Week three, we learned the third part of the dance. Little did I know what was in store. The movements are fast, they are specific. At this point, I'm wondering if I will ever be able to do the dance moves and remember them and be clean all at once. Hey guys, so it's end of week three. Next week we do Perform. Robert brings in Jermiel, who has actually shared the stage with Beyonce, and it was probably the most nerve-wracking thing I've done. I'm currently the dance captain for the Backstreet Boys Las Vegas show. Damn. Hey. No big deal. I've also worked with Jaquel Knight, Chuck Maldonado, Anthony Burrell. It's not fun for any dancer to come and critique us, let alone someone with this much experience. Let's see what you all got. He sits in the chair and watches us perform. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we had to look like shit. You want over a million people to see you, what you just did? Is that ready? Immediately he knows where all of our insecurities are. There's a difference between sexy and slutty. It's there, you know, so just take it back a little bit. I did love dance and I still do, but it is hard having your body critiqued constantly. I have found a problem I did not think would be a problem and that's my face. Jordan, you have really, really distinguishable eyebrows. So just watch your face a little bit. You're a different body type. You have to go harder because people are looking at you. Everybody to me looks like beautiful, long-haired dancers, like how you're supposed to look, and I do not emulate that at all. Halfway through the rehearsal, I went to the bathroom and just bawled my eyes out. He gets to me and he says, You are so pretty. But I was expecting more. I'm looking at her, but I want her to do something to keep me looking at her. I want you to be a little bit more risky. I think my key is not to just try to make myself more confident, but be another version of myself that honestly has not existed up until this point. You need to immediately be like, boom. You can't be this person. Whatever it is that's holding you back, let it go. So this past weekend, we all went out dancing. And then we all realized, I think, oh wow, we actually can move, you know? We actually can have fun while we're dancing. It doesn't have to be super serious. It was just really great because it reminded me why I like dancing. I could not be more proud to share the stage with all of these really incredible women. And um, to be one of them is just gonna be such an honor. I'm at work right now, and I just realized that we're performing this week. It just hit me right now. Before we go up, I sit and tell myself, Jasmine, you've got this. To know that people are gonna watch me and compare me and judge me is just terrifying. What are you excited to see today? So I wanna see a lot of heart and I wanna see a lot of sex. The booty's gotta be on point. Honestly, I'm looking for facial expressions. It's all in the face. People are in the upstairs people portion are, of the stage. People are going up the stairs and onto the balcony. There's nowhere to sit. I'm gonna throw up. At this point, we've been through the trenches together. We know we're gonna make it to the other side together. Together. Give it up and let us hear it for the final dance! I go 
on stage and immediately the crowd starts making noises and I like zero in and I'm feeling pretty fierce. People were loving it. They didn't know if we messed up or not. That energy was so contagious. hard time accessing sexiness because I'm from a really conservative family. Just putting on the costume makes me feel, okay, maybe I can pull this off. Dancing with a crowd in front of me is nerve wracking, but at the same time, like, at least I'm not looking at myself. In front of those mirrors, you're like judging yourself, you're looking at yourself. In front of these people, I was like, honey, I'm about to work it. It's just very gratifying to show off your hard work. It's this amazing catharsis of hard work passion and teamwork coming together. I've always had respect for dancers and the commitment, but I forgot the mental game. The toll is not just on your body, it's emotional too. I kind of found my sexy, empowered alter ego. I went into this challenge wanting to feel more comfortable with my sexuality, and I definitely came out on the other side learning a lot about who I am and the limits that I impose on myself. This whole month was just a big learning experience about just myself and my body, and comparing it to others is not ever, like, ever the way to go about things. I wanted to come out of this challenge feeling like a more confident person. And there's a lot of self-doubt when you're doing it, but then it's all worth it in the end.